Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Still on the update of what is happening across Nigeria, as Nigerians decide who will lead them in 2023 presidency, you will be shocked to see that a female corps member caught changing, you know, Peter Obi's call to give to Kwan Kwaso in presidential pool in Enugu. You can imagine this now. Mr. Peter Obi is the candidate of the Labour Party for the presidential election, while Senator Rabiu Kwan Kwaso is the presidential candidate of the New Nigerian People's Party. The female corps member and presiding officer in Saturday's presidential and national assembly elections have been caught manipulating and changing the election results of the Labour Party presidential candidate at a polling unit to favor the new Nigerian People's Party candidate. Mr. Peter Ubi is the candidate of the Labour Party for the presidential election, while Senator Rabiu Kwanukwaso is the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party. Hmm. Sahara reporters gathered that the incident happened in one of the polling units in Abakba Ward, Enugu. Last uh, Enugu East local government area of Enugu State Southeast. A viral video seen by Sahara reporters on Sunday shows the female member of the National Youth Service Corps member who presided over the polling units begging people. She claimed that all the corps members from North Nigeria participating in the election in the Southeast region we are told to do the same. In the video, a result sheet was seen showing mutilated vote scores of the Labour Party presidential candidates, Obi. When Labour Party agents caught her, she said, I am aware of the full consequences of my action and I am ready to take my punish any punishment. I am sorry, this is what I was told to do. A text that accompanying the video read copper caught at Abakwa, stealing Peter Ubi's foot and transferring some to Kwan Kwaso. Hmm, so sad. So sad. This is really very surprising. A youth copper. So all these things when they happen, self, these people, they know they see them. You you don't graduate now. Uh, congratulations. You don't even know when you go get a job. Now, say it be. Some people 10, some people 12, some people 20. Some people say they don't even forget say they go to school because that your result, the they result they don't know where it is. If we cannot change this, we can never change it again. That is the truth. If we cannot make the, the uh, difference now, even with what is happening right now? These people, they carry pepper, they put for our eyes. You, if they follow them, how much they pay you? That is the question. May they even give you 200,000, 200, 200 million. Does it worth it? What about your born children, your generations to come? Are you thinking about them? If you don't correct it now, you cannot correct it again. And it's bad. Yes. If we cannot correct this now, it's going to take decades for this to be corrected. Because there are people who just feel that the, the country belongs to them. This set of people, you know, the, 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 the kind of leadership we have in Nigeria is just in a circle, in a circular form. Now the same people, now in them be, now party, then they change anyway. But Nigerians have decided to vote for personality this time around. Not be party. You see all those people when they make mouth, this and this and that and all that. Nigerians show them pepper. You see this matter? Now me, they answer my call. Not be you join them. Like what I tell people, politicians, they are not feeling the pains we are feeling. Their wives are not in the farm. Their children are not in the farm. So their family members are not among those who are being slaughtered by herdsmen. Are you even thinking about that? 
so they don't feel the pain you feel. Their wife doesn't go to the market. She not even the demand. In fact, she, what she just, what they do, all these politicians, this is what I want to eat. And people who go to the market, people who do uh, this thing they will do, the person who go to the market will go, and the food will be provided. So they don't even know what we are passing through in the market. They don't go to Philly station to kill like you do. Even with the high price of fuel, we will still kill to get the fuel. They don't feel all these pains. So for you, as a young, a young copper, when they see all these things, you they see how the system be. Why can't you change the narrative? If they join, they follow them because they won't give you money. There's one news now. I just dropped that uh, video recent, uh, not quite long, about five minutes ago. A copper was killed in Abuja. What did he do? He, he locked himself inside classroom. The ones when they sit down, they tell people, say, voting materials never come. They sit down, they tell people like that. People line up, kill the weight, make voting materials come. They don't know, say, the copper, they inside. They turn pricks for APC. They beat him. They beat him, finish. He go hospital. Now there he follow, go. What a waste for his parents and his generation. What a waste. You die for people who do not even care for you. They don't care about you. You go to die for them. What kind of useless death is that? If you won't die, you die better death. How can you be dying for politicians? You are dying for Nigerian politicians. For what? They, they don't want the death. So that is why people have to be very careful. You see this time, I'm saying it again. Nigerians are not happy. Everybody just diverse. Because they want the, the, the narrative to change. People are angry. People are tensed right now. So guys...